Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Town Square Tableau. I'm Vin Ebenu here at Ocean County College in Toms River where Ocean County is taking its next step in the fight against opiate addiction. I'm here with Ocean County Prosecutor Joe Coronado and today you're giving out toolkits. So tell me a little bit about what these toolkits are and what they could do. Good morning, Vin. Yeah, what this is all about is, is relationship, and we want to show that there's a relationship both on the federal level, the county level, the state level, and also the local level, and now we want to have make sure that we have a relationship with the community. So we invited um, the religious community here, uh, community leaders, uh, some law enforcement, some school officials. The bottom line is that we want to give them a toolkit. We want to give them the different items that they would need to make a presentation to their flock, so to speak. So there's a potpourri of different types of videos, PowerPoints, all kinds of information that they'll be able to use in their presentation. It's a toolkit that will help them save lives. So is this something that people will take back to their own homes, their own communities, their own leaders? Um, and just to try to spread this message by showing these videos and these pictures? Absolutely. What we want to do is give them the necessary tools, okay, to make a difference. And it's all, this is law enforcement's attempt, okay, to save a life. Is this more about education in the community or prevention or a little bit of both? It's everything all wrapped up in one. One, you certainly want to, pre you know, prevention is a key element of everything, but we want to be able to also show that somebody who is in the midst of uh, the cycle of addiction, that there is help where they can go to get help to break the cycle of addiction. So it's, it's, a, it's a training kit. It's a train-the-trainers type of, of um, form that we have here today, and hopefully the message will be, th uh, will be sent throughout the whole community. Now for those not here today and those not receiving the toolkits, are there any more available or what would your message be to the rest of the community? They can contact my office, uh, go to the prosecutor's office, they can send us an email. Uh, we certainly want to get it out into the community and if they want a toolkit and they want to participate, they can email us and we'll make sure we get it out to them. What is your hope or your goal with this toolkit by giving it out today or by providing more information? Is it more of a short-term education goal or a long-term preventative measure? Our goal is to save lives. What we're here today is to try to make a difference in the community. Law enforcement knows that it can't do it by itself, okay, that we need to form partnerships. We need to form partnerships with the educational community and also with the healthcare community. And now we're going to the, the uh, religious leaders and community leaders to say, look, at, help us with this epidemic. Have you had a number of leaders or any leaders at all within various uh, groups around the community reach out to you about new ways to kind of educate people? We're learning every single day. Uh, we want to think outside the box. It's important for us to come up with new ideas, new techniques. It's all about saving a life. Now, we have a number of special guests here today here at the college. Um, Congressman MacArthur, uh, Senator Booker is coming. Have you been working with them and even other legislative leaders about how to help not only Ocean County, but maybe the rest of New Jersey. Well, we have the superintendent of state police coming here today. The attorney general, Chris Perino, is going to be here. The FBI, um, the um, SAC in charge of the state, Tim Gallagher, is here. The DEA is going to be here. Um, the fact is, is that we have a lot of leaders, both on the federal, state, and county level here to help people send the message. Is there anything you're working on right now or a next step beyond uh, after today's toolkit uh, give, um, get, give out uh, about what people in the community could be learning more about or what are some of the next steps that you think could be taken to help prevent this from you know, growing worse? Well, what we're going to do is we have forms planned for the fall that we're going to be coming out. So we're going to be working this summer on the different forms that we're going to be coming out in September and October and November of, the, of this year. It's important for us to be embedded in the school system. So the bottom line is that we're going to be going to the schools with different forms. But we have a lot of programs right now, and this is just one program that we're putting on today. Um, if we find it um, that we're successful, we'll probably do something similar to this again. Prosecutor Coronado, thank you for your time. Attorney General, uh, what do you think about all these toolkits and how do you think they could help? Look, a huge part of uh, hopefully winning this battle against the opioid epidemic is creating awareness. Um, the toolkits provide information, um, videos, uh, snippets, information takeaways for community leaders who can help increase awareness in their own communities. And so, um, you know, for me, when I go around and I talk about uh, this epidemic and what we can do, among the most important things we can do is help spread the word, spread the word about the danger uh, of taking uh, certain of these opioid painkillers, uh, the addictive qualities of them, um, and then what we can do to help people get treated once they're addicted. And so 
you know, these toolkits, I think, uh, you know, provide a really important resource for individuals who are leaders in our communities to go out uh, and spread the word. What have your conversations been like with Prosecutor Joe Coronado here in Ocean County about not only helping Ocean County, which seems to be, unfortunately, at, at, uh, at the top of this epidemic, but the rest of New Jersey as well? What are some things being done here in Ocean County you think could help the state? Look, Prosecutor Coronado has been a great leader um, in this area uh, for a lot of years. Uh, Governor Christie has shown tremendous leadership as well. And so, um, you know, we work very, very closely uh, with the prosecutor here in Ocean County with respect to the initiatives that he's working on um, and the ones that we can uh, utilize statewide. We absolutely do utilize, and uh, I work very closely with, uh, with Joe, talk to him regularly, and, and uh, we appreciate um, the work that he's doing, the ideas that he has, uh, and the leadership that he's shown. So he's been a, he's been a great ally in this fight. This toolkit seems like a great preventative measure and education resource, but uh, what are some of the other things you think could be done, you know, starting tomorrow about how to help users find treatment and, you know, lock up those drug dealers that are putting poison on the street? Yeah. So, again, um, in terms of treatment, you know, the governor's office has um, uh, provided one-stop shopping through the hotline, uh, which I think is um, is what people need. You know, people can't navigate this morass. The individuals who are looking for help don't have experience in looking for help. Uh, so one-stop shopping I think is really important. The other thing that we're working hard on is making sure that on the prevention side um, individuals are not unnecessarily becoming addicted uh, through the use of opioid painkillers. And so in our office in addition to having uh, criminal authority we also have the ability to regulate doctors civilly and so we've worked very hard to make sure that doctors are following the new rules uh, to make sure that uh, opioid painkillers are not being prescribed unless they're absolutely necessary. Now, how do you think things like ReachNJ.gov or a number of other nonprofit groups throughout New Jersey or people that are, you know, seeing this go on around them and try, want to try to find a way to help some of these users find recovery, what does that say to you about the people of New Jersey and how they're willing to help? Yeah, look, as I said before, um, you know, awareness is so important. Um, once this problem becomes a conversation that people are having around their dinner tables, um, that's when we will start to have solved it. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, work continues to have to be done, work like uh, Prosecutor Coronado was doing here, work that we're doing, work that the governor is doing to help spread the word because as word travels, treatment options increase um, and the ability to reach those options increases as well. So it's very important. Attorney General Prino, thank you for your time toolkit that's being given out today. It looks like the next preventative measure and the next education resource. How valuable do you think this could be not only to Ocean County but the rest of New Jersey? I think everything we do can be helpful. The, the more I'm involved in this as the chairman of the bipartisan task force in Congress, the more uh, I see this not as just statistics. This is about people's lives and families and communities that are being destroyed. And we need to give every resource we can. There's, uh, there's simply no single answer to this. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, r really grateful to see so many leaders here from law enforcement, uh, uh, local police, our prosecutor, the FBI, the DEA, the attorney general. Uh, we have a lot of people here today that are, are wanting to do everything we can in a coordinated fashion to, uh, to help with this crisis. And I think the toolkit can help with that. How do you think the toolkit could possibly help poss on a national level with your task force? Do you think this is something that all states should be involved in? Well, I think there's different ways for states to get at this, but uh, there are many dozens, hundreds even, of agencies and, uh, and types of, uh, of public responses, and there needs to be coordination. And I think one of the things the toolkit does is helps to educate, to bring different groups together, uh, the, the, national, uh, uh, the national programs on drug control p policy, I think, are an important part of that. But most of the work gets done locally and in the state. And so I think anything like this that can bring those resources together is, is pretty vitally important. Is there anything that you're taking from your conversations with anybody here in New Jersey, the Attorney General, Governor Christie, Prosecutor Coronado, uh, back down with you to Washington and discussing on this task force or with President Trump? Yes, uh, not just ideas, but people. We had Chief Little from Tom's River actually at our last uh, a hearing of the bipartisan task force, and uh, he was there with uh, people from the FBI and the DEA testifying on the effects of synthetic opioids. 
uh, which are really really uh, serious on users, but also on law enforcement. They they can have just a a dusting or a brush with it and be uh, and, and be really hurt or even killed. So we got that perspective from. Uh, from those people when they came to testify, and, and we're beginning to talk about things we can do on the federal level to try to, uh, to curb this. Congressman MacArthur, I thank you as always for your time.